Noel Newberts tells the traditional story based on the truth, but reserves the right to tell it in a way that only Fresh knows how to do. Fresh! So here's the latest, check it out. Know your roots! This week, the story of Hina the Earth Maiden, also called Hina Nui Te Pō, Queen of the Underworld. Some even say she's also the original Sina of other tales from the Pacific. This one's a bit PG, kids, so wake up mum and dad to come watch with you, eh? Sorry about it, mum and dad. Our story begins not long after Rangi, the Sky Father, and Papa, the Earth Mother, were violently separated by their children, one of whom was Tane, god of the forest and its wildlife. Tane was getting bored of the trees and his other wondrous creations. He needed someone to hang out with and figured he needed a wife. But women had not yet been created, so Tane set to work. According to the Māori, he took some soppy mud, then sand from along the sea coast of Hawaii and moulded the shape of woman. He then breathed life into her and left her to sleep. When she awoke, he gave her eyeballs, snot, blood, muscles and other vital organs of the human body all the way until she was pregnant. Yeah, pregnant. This is how Hina the Earth Maiden was born. Now here's where we get a bit PG, in more ways than one. Now, there obviously must have been a massive breakdown in communication because Hina, not knowing Tane was her father, became his wife. Mmm, don't know what Tane was thinking, but mythological gods were always getting away with stuff like that. Check out Hercules and his folks. Shortland Street had nothing on these guys. Now, when Hina found out that her husband was her father, she was Angus as and fled to the darkness of the underworld, where she still lives. Actually, most Māori meeting houses will have a carving or reference of the Earth Maiden even today. Remember, Know Your Roots reserves the right to make most of this up, but if you're a curious George about it, ask somebody. Parents are a good place to start. Hey.